hello wonderful people and welcome to today's uh, edition or today's uh, class on canva today's tutorial on canva uh, canva graphic designing today we are designing something simple like this now like i mentioned earlier in other in previous tutorials that i am a Ghanaian and i live in ghana so you know i just I, I was just quitting something, you know, just being creative. So I did something simple, you know, for for university in Ghana, you know, sort of. So, you know, I inserted a lot of things and then there's some few tricks here and then let's let's get right into it. So we'll come to our home page and I I I used uh forty eight 48 uh, width by 38 36 sorry 36 height that is inches so 48 inches width and 36 inches height and then I create and I get my you know I get my camera working space or working area so first things first I insert my background now again like I mentioned I'm a Ghanaian so you know this 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 uh, Something that you know Ghanaians identify with. It's 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 part of our culture. You know, it's it's a cloth, and it, it's called kente cloth. So I just came to you know Google and then searched for kente cloth, and I inserted it as my background. So this is just it, and then you know I position it and position it. Um, let me make sure it is okay. So I think this is okay for me. This is okay for me. And then now I let me let me insert this this guys. Let me set them. Okay. So let me go back my working area and then I insert um, I insert a square element and position it and then stretch it out and after stretching I make sure it's well positioned and possibly resize again and I think that's okay for me so I come to color and choose to color and then go to border and then give it you know some border i think 51 is okay for me and then change the color of the border to uh let me try red i used i used green here but let me try red and maybe increase the thickness of the border a little bit okay let me just give let, me, let this be at 100 i think i like 100 and i'm okay with that and then insert another and then position so now I have to the mouse is not really helping me so I, I need to use the arrow keys and I think I need to give it some small space in which I think there's okay and I want this to be white yes this is what I want so we are still on it let me insert let me insert that and duplicate out I'll, I'll do some trick which um you know after inserting all those elements they are on top of each other so let's say for example as i am inserting this element and uh, grouping in terms of grouping them and you know i like to group uh, elements together especially when i want to work with them as one or i want to work them to work work with them as one element together so I like to group them, but in this situation, I cannot group them. If I try grouping, it will group everything here. So 
what I would do is I'll just delete it and then just come to a new a new page empty page that there's nothing there and then rather you know put it there so I can be able to group and then you know do the right thing there so that I, I'll just bring it along and then just you know resize it and it should it should work for me so let me change the colors let me just give them some colors um, let me use yellow yeah there's no yellow here oh okay 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 so let me use um, red gold so I would want to use the colors the colors of my Ghana flag red gold green and then there's a black in the middle so let me use this and group them so now I would want to I want to make I want to make them you know taller and then now group so I can you know move it to where I am working so let me okay so this is what I want okay so now I've gotten that so now let me insert my images so I just got my images from Google I just searched for uh, you know sometimes you, you need to be creative with your keywords I don't know why I searched guy students I don't know what I was thinking but I still got my results though so um, I just used uh, um, remove.bg so I, I picked a click on my image I think I want and then after I finished loading I just drag it to remove remove.bg and this is not a JPEG or PNG so let me see this and then take it there and then it removes the background and then I just bring it back to my my work but I already have them here so I would want to use the ones here so let me let me bring them here bring them come on go okay so in no particular order let me start arranging them so I don't like this SS so let me just cut and then this is what I'd want I want the way you know uh, she's the head is kind of out of the box that's how I want it so I'll leave it like that and then crop it right on the edge of the box crop it right on the edge of the box and then still crop it right on the edge and that's good and bring this guy here cut off the excess okay let me just position him so I can just cut it off at once and make sure they are almost the same size I think it's okay position him I want the head to be out of the box the head to be out of the box and cut it right or crop it right at the edge right at the edge and it looks it looks like they are actually in the box but they are not and crop I think this this guy is already the same size and then come and cut this
and they are almost the same size and then crop it into the box oh I duplicated okay so hmm we're getting somewhere so now this this is the trick I used and we are still on it so I come to element and then searched for feet let me try feet and then search then this is Sometimes you'd have to be patient and then search. This is this is not what I used. The one I used uh, gave me the option to change. Yes, this. So this. Let me rotate this to ninety. And then resize to fit the box and then change this color to the color of the box duplicate that position change the color to the color of the box duplicate oh Canva positioned it for me, so I'm position it well, and then change the color to the color of the box, duplicate, and change the color to the color of the box, and we are getting somewhere. So with the fade, I use gradient that fades to transparency. So with that, you have two colors: that is a white, and then an actual or a solid color so the white is kind of the feet so you know it just creates this nice effect for me let me zoom out okay so we're getting somewhere now i would want to insert all that uh, so uh let me let me just copy so that we move faster So I come to insert my box and position it, resize and no color for the box but give it a border and give it a border and then you know give it give the border a color maybe the same color as that. And then now I paste that here. Oh no. Okay. So yes, this is centered. And let me just reduce the text box. It's, it's a little too much. Okay, that's that's that. And then insert. And something like that. Hmm. I was having an idea, but I would... I'll just... I don't want to try anything wild here. So I'm not getting the right thing, so I have to zoom in, and this is what I want. So 
think I would want to maintain this like that. So now, ooh, I tried to select. Okay, so let's insert other things. Now we we'll insert a duplicate, and then change my color to you know one of the colors. And then duplicate duplicate my text box because I wouldn't want to um, do something wrong. Oh no, undo and then drag it to the place I want. And then uh, take it to the back. And this is this is uh, my website zoom in let me try zooming in it's too small for me so i write website here and then you know copy that and then paste And then this should be black. And I need to position this right. Yes. And duplicate again for the last. So this socials, the social media. I don't have to write social media, but I just I just put socials, and then the name of the various social media platforms. Okay, so that side is done. And then now I insert this dummy logo. Mm -hmm. And then it sets all this text box. Mm -hmm. And then come and put this and make sure it's aligned. Yes, it is. And set that also and make sure it's aligned. Yes, it is. Duplicate text box, make sure it's aligned. Yes, it is. And let me see the content here. So classes. So you have the the you have the weekend, the weekday, and then the online. So I paste that and then Is that so I think I need to change this color to black and then stretch this out and then give my location so let me duplicate that for the location and then Come and copy my location here. And then uh, duplicate that. And then copy my text box. And paste. So I have to change this to black. And then you know change this colors. So let me try green. I've not done green. Green. 
and green and then which other color okay yellow no no that and that so in a nutshell you know something simple you know and then you get a whole idea the whole concept you know how to create something like that so i think this needs to come up and that one also needs to come up and you know that's that you know okay there's something simple and this 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 can this can be you know a simple flyer for a school you know just something simple because you know again ghana so we just wanted to use something of ghana so it was the background and then i set all this image you know and then just created some texts around it and you know it looks good so thank you for joining me please don't forget to like share subscribe and uh, hope to see my next video have a wonderful day bye bye